Hello, hello, hello YouTube and welcome to this video where I'm going to be making uh, it's between an 80k and 100k squad for you. Uh, it's not special, not a big hybrid, it's just a squad I've been using, just thought I'd share it with you. Uh, but if you can start by dropping a like on the video and subscribing if you like the video, obviously comments are appreciated and yeah, let's just get straight into it. So in goal, I think is actually the most expensive player in this team. Yeah it is, by far, by like 10k. It's a uh, Neto, plays a... Valencia at he's just too expensive but I can't get his normal card because he's out of packs at the minute it wouldn't really recommend paying 30k for this card I'd just get his normal one when he's out of packs uh, left back is Kurzawa and now he's mainly in there for chemistry you don't really know some if I could have a different left back I would but chemistry wise it's either him or Bernat and he's better than Bernat stat wise so it's got to be him uh, centre back is where is he? It is Marquinhos, left centre back and right centre back Gabriel. A uh, good partnership. Can't really say nothing bad about them. Marquinhos, he's is dribbling, is actually really good. His ball, seventy six ball control he's got, but uh, that the dribbling stats kind of don't show what he's actually like because he he is really good at dribbling. And Gabriel Polista, obviously both of them are really good sense of actually got 83 and 85 defending Marquinhos physical is a bit on the low side but I've got anchor on him so that just ups it up as you can see there gives him 78 yeah 78 strength but that's not when the team finish when the team finish he'll get like I think it's he'll end up with 80 strength but anyway right back is Arias who's bit disappointed with this card to be honest he's not the same player as he was last FIFA I used all his cards last FIFA the first in form, second in form, team of the season the regular card, they were all overpowered this one it's, it's just missing something because pace isn't that big of a thing on this FIFA it's just missing and what have I got on him? Dribbling, defending maybe I need to give him a shadow or anchor or something like that but yeah he's just not the same player he was uh, no Let's go two CDMs. Right CDM is Hernanes and left CDM is Inform Lucas Lever. Uh, right, he's, I think he's a bit too slow to be honest with you. Fast out weak foot is obviously a good thing. Fast out skill moves is good. Great passing, good long shots. But he's just too slow in that position. I've given him a catalyst and since then he's picked up a bit. But I don't play weekend league. In weekend league I wouldn't use him. But just to try him out would recommend him now but Lucas Lever best defensive midfielder I've used this FIFA by far his shots for some reason I don't know that he's only got 82 shot power 71 long shots but he's got such good long shots I've scored quite a few goals on him I think this is a fr fresher one so yeah three three goals and 11 I did have another one which had like five in six games or something like that obviously a lot of them were in squad battles but you defensively he's amazing his passing is good he's actually feels quite fast to be honest with you i know pace isn't a big thing this fifa but he feels quite fast uh now left cam is someone i bought only two games ago i think yeah well one because i got disconnected from one game but it's pellegrini i bought him for he's in this team of the week so he's gone for discards yeah, probably getting it for like ten thousand coins um so far what i use him in that one game i really like his dribbling really like his dribbling uh, his defending as well I'm playing on my cam but his defending so good it might be worth in game if you want switching him and Hernanes always oh, better than Hernanes and everything except for passing <laughs> so yeah you might just want to sub Hernanes out he's, he's just in there for chemistry really right cam is very good you know I actually built this team around um, 99 shot power 90 long shots why you got him 90 what will he go up to probably go to 99 strength Stamina's good, 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, high high, 6 foot, there's no way, he, do, he doesn't look 6 foot in game, he looks like 5 foot 8 or something like that, uh, but his, his dribbling's good, he's just a bit slow for that wide cam, so if, if you want to switch formations to make him more essentially, it's pro probably best suit you. Uh, right striker, we're going Alex Tichier, I think that's how I pronounce it, and left striker Zaza, uh, Zaza last FIFA, I had him played over 500 games for me I think and scored over 500 goals uh, I used that was his first in format FIFA so I just thought oh he's got 4 star skill move upgrade 
a buy him this FIFA. His shot seems a bit off, not gonna lie. And he does seem a bit slow, but he feels powerful, so I don't know whether to just put a Hunter Chem style on him and just hope for the best, really. Because his, his shooting looks alright in the stats, it's just in game it doesn't really feel right. High, high work rate doesn't seem to affect him. Right strike, striker Alex Teixeira, his records, yes, yeah, stupid, 22 games, 36 goals. Adam from the very start, he's just over, he's the Gabriel who's used to this FIFA. It, just use him. <laughs> he's, he's just good. Long shots, especially long shots. He feels like he's got five star weak foot as well. He's five foot eight, but he, he feels taller. He feels strong and a, a, he looks well taller than Guardian in game. Don't know why that is. Uh, but anyway, that's the team. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment what you want to see from me next. Subscribe for more and see ya. Goodbye.